Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My friends, here at Holy Annunciation Parish, we celebrate the 24th Sunday in ordinary time, that all of us may truly worship the Lord from our hearts. Let us first ask forgiveness for our sins, and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things. And that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me the day I called. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The cords of death encompassed me, the snares of the netherworld seized upon me. 
I fell into distress and sorrow, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low and he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works, can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone may, might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, you are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looked at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, the Lord Jesus was hard on Peter. Peter, when he heard Jesus talking about all that he had to suffer and die, would probably have done as we would do to someone else, to try to encourage them, try to put off what is painful and unpleasant and find some way around it. But Peter is rebuked for his troubles. Jesus is trying to teach him a lesson about what he really believes in. Just a moment before, Jesus had asked Peter, who did he think that he was? Peter responded correctly, you are the Christ, you are the Son of God, you are the Savior. Peter had the right faith. He knew in whom he believed. But if you do believe in Jesus, as the Lord and Savior, 
then that actually means that things have to follow from it, that you must learn to think in a different way. That's why Jesus says, you are thinking like the world does, not like God. You know God, therefore you must think differently. Peter was only worried about trying to make things easy for Jesus. He wanted comfort and convenience, that is the thinking of the world. That is not necessarily God's thinking. In fact, Jesus goes on to say, if you seek to save and hold on to your life, if you dig into the stuff of this world and try to cling to it and seek only what this world proposes as what it thinks is good, you're going to lose your life. You will actually have to pay for that. Instead, if you learn to think like God does, be willing to give, to give up even, to give away, to be generous, to not cling to here, but cling to what is above, then you will find your life. You will find life even more abundantly and greatly. Jesus says, unless you learn to deny yourself, unless you learn to put away all our self-centeredness and ego, unless you are willing to take up your cross, the daily tests and challenges that are really there to help us to grow in goodness and in grace and in virtue, unless you're willing to truly follow me whom you say that you believe in, putting the Lord Jesus in your heart, foremost in your thoughts, the goal of your life. If you do that, then you will have life that never ends. Faith must always be put into practice, and the Lord Jesus is showing us how to do it by the way we think and what we do. Let us now renew our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting our prayers will be heard and answered. Let us join in offering our prayers to our loving Father in heaven. For those in the church entrusted with preaching and teaching the gospel, that they may be strengthened to continue their work with zeal, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public service, that their decisions may be based on justice and compassion for all people, especially the poor and needy among us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from the effects of war and violence, that they may get the help they need to bring their lives back to normal, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, that our commitment to generously sharing our time, talent, and treasure 
may continue to deepen and grow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who have died, that they may be welcomed into God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us watching this Mass and all the prayers in our hearts, let us now gather them together and offer them silently to the Lord. Loving God, hear the prayers we offer you today and strengthen us so we may remain steadfast in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. These gifts of bread, gifts of attention, all of us and our prayers. The mingling of this water and himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart we be accepted by you, Sacrifice our sight to still be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash away, O Lord, my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplication, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, 
the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The mingling in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ will turn life to us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.